Welcome back to Living Strong Adventures, a space where we dive deep into life's lessons and share insights on living strong, no matter what the obstacles are. I'm your host, Peter Lisiaga, and today I want to speak to you about the power of celebrating progress, especially the kind that often goes unnoticed, because sometimes the smallest milestones are the biggest victories of all. You know, this journey of recovery, it's not just about physical healing. It's about honoring each step forward as a win, embracing each day as an opportunity to strengthen the mind, the body, and the spirit. As I prepare for a return to the mats in 2025, I recognize that I've never truly left those mats in spirit. My martial arts practice has continued in my mind, my heart, and my soul through all these years, even as I navigated some tough physical limitations. This adventure, this living strong adventure I'm on, feels like my calling. And what a calling it has been. From my early days as a street kid in the Bronx, to traveling the world as a ballet dancer, to standing on Broadway stages around the world, to now being a martial arts master, teacher, and author, every chapter has been about evolution. It's a journey that's taken me full circle back to the mats, where I can pass on the knowledge I've gathered over the 60 plus years I've lived. My goal now is to bring all of that, every hard-earned lesson, to empower others who need it most through the teachings of martial arts. This journey wasn't one I could ever have planned out perfectly. Ten years of physical challenges, well, they've shown me that I had to go through each of those hurdles to bring this unique perspective back to the mat. Every hardship was, in hindsight, a requirement to be able to teach from a place of true understanding. Now as an old martial arts guy in my community, I feel ready to embrace that role wholeheartedly. Just yesterday, I completed the last session in this recent physical therapy cycle with Brooke at Restore Physical Therapy. Brooke and I looked back together, comparing where I am now with where I started on September 30th. And let me tell you, it's nothing short of miraculous. It's not just the big strides that have mattered, but the small steps along the way. Next Tuesday marks six weeks since my first hip surgery and the recovery, the progress is something I never want to take for granted. And it's not just the physical progress. The decisions I've made along the way have been life changing. I scaled back on my social platforms, made the choice to step back into teaching and took time to dive deep into readings and self-reflection. In many ways, I went into a proverbial isolation from my usual community life, a necessary quiet so I could gain clarity on what my 2025 return to the mats would look like. This time has allowed me to reconnect on a deeper level with key leaders across my communities, from the township I live in, to my martial arts network, to educators and beyond. With each connection, I am reminded that every small and big choice, every move I make is setting me up to live strong, not just for today, but for tomorrow and all the days beyond. I want to continue bringing the Living Strong vision forward, not just as a master on the mats, but as a bridge. Someone who can connect generations through martial arts, through story, and through living as an example of what resilience and determination look like in practice. So, as you go about your journey, your adventure, I invite you to celebrate every bit of progress, no matter how small. Honor the milestones, for each one is a testament to your commitment, strength, and determination. Let's keep taking those small steps, building each day on the last, and together, let's live strong.